Top story tonight, one of three aldermen indicted on federal corruption charges pleaded guilty today. Fox News Chris Hayes in the courtroom to hear what John Collins Muhammad had to say, and he is live with the courtroom developments. Chris. Jasmine, Vic, the former alderman repeatedly told the judge, yes, sir, as the prosecutor read from this 31-page plea agreement. Then John Collins Muhammad said he was guilty of bribery, racketeering, and wire fraud. Collins Muhammad was indicted in June along with two of his colleagues, former aldermatic president Lewis Reed and former alderman Jeffrey Boyd. Reed and Boyd resigned after their indictments. Collins Muhammad resigned in May, preceding his, in which he said he'd made mistakes. He left his post abruptly, with little explanation except to say the coming weeks would be tough. It was the following month when we learned all three former aldermen had been accused of accepting bribes in exchange for political favors, and all of them were captured on audio, clips transcribed by federal prosecutors so we could read exactly what each politician said in their alleged questionable business dealings. John Collins Muhammad was allowed to leave today, remaining on bond until he's sentenced in December. He did not respond to media questions as he left. The judge was convinced he's not going to run, and his defense attorney says he's found stable work at an Amazon distribution center in East St. Louis and at a local Macy's. The court record reveals that Collins Muhammad introduced the federal informant to his colleagues, former Alderman Reed and Boyd, and they both have their hearings here Friday in which they may change their pleas. Coming up, all new at 6, I'll tell you about the range of punishment Collins Muhammad faces. Live downtown, Chris Hayes, Fox 2 News.